the learning curve for this game is really steep, so I wanted to just do a really quick overview of how to play the game. And uh, I have a chat going, so probably gonna probably gonna chat randomly as well. But if you have any questions about um, about the game, I'm here, so I can answer you. Especially uh, the game is just on sale. It's until midnight, so it's two and a half hours. <laughs> uh, it's twenty five dollars for. What did they call it? The anniversary sale? E3 sale, maybe. Aw, thank you, Wally. Uh, so we have E, adventure, under me. And then we have arena. Uh, don't play arena until you've played adventure a couple times. Because um, it's just really difficult. And then the pirate emporium, and uh, this is just kind of whatever, the info. So I'm gonna play adventure, honestly. Galleon is four people, Brig is three, Sleep is two. And open crews if you just want random people from wherever joining you. Uh, it's hit and miss, but mostly miss. You've not been to a barber in 20 years by going bald. Kinder, you're right. <laughs> Dinosaurs are still alive when I was talking <laughs> How's streaming been, Pandora? I say Pandora. I mean cat. <laughs> Um, let's see. So we're gonna set sail. I, I don't have anything, anyone on my sloop. This is me, um, with a gunpowder barrel. This is my pirate legend outfit. Of course there's a, a jacket or a dress with it too, but I don't like it. Then I look like Barney. Yeah, it's been good. I'm also gonna eat cheese bread. Mm. Good. Lots more beer. Cheese bread and beer. Oh yeah, my beer is alternate dimension. Maybe Wally can fix it. Alternate dimension, alt beer ale. Joseph Brown Brewing Company in San Jose, California. Um, it's called an alt beer. I guess it's a dark beer with light flavor. Mm. Mm. So, you load in a tavern. This is Duke. He doesn't do much right now in this update, but you can buy levels from him later. But don't. This woman doesn't do much. She fills up your beer, but you can do that yourself. This guy is for pirate legends, so once you get to level 50 in three different, um, three different factions. There's five factions right now, um, but I'll explain that later. So this is for Tall Tales, this is the first Tall Tale, this is actually for adventure, uh, like, um, story mode. So, but again, you should wait until you do that, if you're new to the game. Um, you can look in these barrels, so, these barrels will give you cannonballs and, uh, planks, which are very important, worms, which are for fishing, duh. Planks are to fix your boat. Wally is dumb. Oh, no, you're not. I'm not sure how to do it, really. Let's see. And I'm looking for food. There's a few different types of food. Aha, there's a pomegranate. Now, there's a few different types of food. Uh, bananas are not very helpful. They do like 20% of your health. Um, goes bananas are the least health and then coconuts are a little better pomegranates are a little better than that then mangoes then pineapples are the best they give you a hundred percent of your health plus they uh they have two bites instead of one like the rest of them oh there you go you can only hold five planks ten cannonballs normal cannonballs um and five pieces of food so this is where you refill your guns if you're on your boat, um, obviously this is probably the first place you want to go. Uh, like you'd want you want to check out if you're newer. 
Um, this is your ammo chest, so you can just reload there. You only get five shots for each of your guns. So, um, of course, we have a sword. I always have a sword on me. But there's pistol, which is my favorite. Uh, I always have a pistol. There's a blunderbuss, which is like a shotgun. Uh, sorry, blunderbuss. There it is. <laughs> uh, blunderbuss, which is like a shotgun. Uh, I don't tend to think it's very useful, really, unless you're in PvP and you're going to be up close. Um, and then you have the eye breach, which is your sniper rifle. Um, yeah, but I keep a sword and a pistol pretty much always. Uh, this is where you can store those wood planks I was talking about. Uh, ship starts with some wood planks, 20, but uh, definitely get more. Uh, you also start with 16 bananas. There's eight on top and eight on bottom. So I usually put like my food on top and then you can put like your fishing stuff on the bottom is what I tend to do. This is your map. So we loaded in at Plunder Outpost. It's a really big map. Ooh, lots of islands. So many islands. So many. And this is the Devil's Roar over here. This is the more difficult area. Uh, we loaded into the Ancient Isles section, Plunder Outpost. Um, this is where you'd put a uh, voyage. I'm going to go buy a voyage. What kind of porter is that? What What is your brew pub? Uh, this is where you'd put... We are not going to do this one. This is where you'd put a quest, basically, a voyage. Uh, this is, a, what do you call it, Ashen Athena's voyage, but you can't buy those until you are a pirate legend, which I just, I just recently achieved, so very excited about it. Okay, so, like I said, you load into an, an outpost of some sort. Uh, you know, you don't really have to do anything in the inn, you just kind of run around and load up your... Oh no, my cam isn't up. Guys, when did my cam didn't go up? Oh goodness me. There it is. Ha! Woo! Okay. Um, I'm using Streamlabs for the first time. I usually use stream elements. So there you go. Uh, we're getting some some more food. And it's all of these barrels that are pretty much whole barrels, they look like, they all look the same. This you can't load. There's a few different things. So there's gold hoarders. There's this guy here. This is a faction. They all are under a tent. Looks the same every time. Uh, let's do one of these. So you can only purchase three voyages at a time. And that's from all factions. So you can only hold three on you. This is, um, this is where you can purchase different colored weapons. It, doesn't make any difference when you load in everyone's on the same playing field um, this is for clothing same thing it's just it's just skins you have makeup and you have um, and you have jackets and hook and peg legs and uh, different hair and stuff so you know easy peasy thought I wanted it that way no. I guess I should have. Um, but that's fine. But I look cute. <laughs> Let's see. I got that one. Oh, okay. Here's this one up here. This is the third place where you can like buy cosmetic things. And this is where you can buy different instruments. And uh, like buckets and uh, lanterns. That sort of thing. So your tools. Um, let's see. So now we have. Thank you, by the way, for letting me know. This is Order of Souls. This is another one. Uh, you can buy voyages from them. Theirs is uh, where you basically have to go out and defeat a ca uh, captain. Um, and you'll find them on an. It'll tell you what island to go to, and it'll tell you how many captains you have to defeat. It'll give you skulls. one way to say it. And then the last one, oh, and a gold hoarder is this guy. You can get either a treasure map or a riddle. See, is that pretty much everything on the island you need? Yeah. Yeah, and all these places all look the same. The islands are in different composures, but basically the same thing. So here's uh, merchants. 
And these are Merchant Voyages. This is a lot of people's least favorite. It's one of my favorites. Because you can do a couple, you can kind of do a couple of them at a time. In a roundabout way. There's that. Okay, and then there's this, I forgot, this cosmetic lady over here. This is for your boat cosmetics. So, uh, there's always, you know, there's these ones that are locked that you have to achieve certain things to be able to purchase them. Like, you have to reach level 50 in the Merchant Alliance for this one. Um, let's see. This, you have to play PvP. Um, but then there are a lot of them you can just purchase. They are really expensive to start out with, so I wouldn't even bother. This was my first sale. It was only 5,000 coins, so it's the first thing I bought because it was the ugliest thing I could possibly have, so. Uh, that's pretty much it for the island. Sometimes there's random stuff in the water, like loot, but uh, not today, Satan. Um, so obviously you can swim. You can swim, you know, you can sprint swim, or you can regular swim. Uh, if you have an item in your hands, you can only regular swim. And now we get to the boat. Yay! Oh, you know what? I should make my boat look less crappy. So when you're sailing around, it's open PvP, so anyone can attack you at any time. So you can kind of be strategic about what kind of sails you want to put on and everything. Uh, let's see. So this is this is from uh, something you can't do anymore. Um, it was from a voyage where you have to have something called a reaper's markup, which shows your position on the map, but it's also part of some of the commendations, like the achievements that you can get. And achievements will get you doubloons, which are these um, blue coins up in the top that you can't really see. Uh, let's see, the capstone. Okay, I think I got everything. There we go. Yeah, now we look good. You have to be close to the island to change your boat, by the way. Uh, we're back on the boat. This is where you can change all your things. Um, this is where you can cook food. That is later. It's not super important right now. This is your map. This is where you can put a voyage. This is this. So you put it down, and then you have to vote on it. If it's just you, you're the only one that has to vote on it. Um, if it's, like, two of you, you both have to. And I think if it's a galleon, three people have to vote on it. Uh, so we're going to go to, oh, see. This gave me five different voyages. So if you have one voyage, it can give you five different maps. Um, sometimes it'll go, like, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, so that if you finish the first map, it'll send you a second map, etc. Um, but they gave me five, five maps just here. So this is the island called Wanderer's Refuge. So you have to pull out, if you don't know the islands yet, it's one of the bigger ones. So you have to pull out here and find, oh, there's Wanderers right there. We're all the way down here in the Agent Isles, and that's all the way up here in the Shores of Plenty, so it's a little bit annoyingly far. But you just have to map, or match the map to the island. This is a big one, so it's a little bit easier to find. Let's see, Plunder Valley is another bigger one. Plunder Valley is close to Plunder Outpost, which is where we are. Plunder Valley, you can put a circle on the map too, just so you remember where you need to go. Uh, Thieves Haven is another larger one. Thieves Haven is right down here, which is close to us as well. Discovery Ridge is another big one. So that's over here next to Plunder. And Shark Bait Cove is the circular one, which is right here. Oh, they're all pretty, pretty close. They tend to be within the confines of that area. Um, like, they tend to be mostly where you purchased it. Like, this is Ancient Isles, so it tends to be around here. So this is the hardest part, I find. And this is pretty much... Uh, after I set off, this is where I'll let you off. Um, well, I'll land at an island. We'll do that. Uh, once you get on the boat, it's, it's just sitting here, obviously. 
you have your harpoon, which will grab you onto something. It'll also grab people. It'll grab barrels. It'll grab items. These are lanterns. Some people like to turn them off so that you can't be seen from far away, but you still can. So this is a cannon. You have to be sure to grab your cannonballs, which are right here. Uh, you start with 40. 20 on top, 20 on bottom. This is the crow's nest up there. You can see stuff. You can actually um, put a flag up. I'll put a flag up. So there's one, the reaper's mark that I was talking about. And you can kind of see it from far away too. Hi, Justin. Here we are. So here's that reaper's mark I was talking about. It's shiny and red and you can tell when. That's basically, usually when people are like, I'm ready to PVP, like, be afraid of me. Uh, this is offer alliance. This is, you can alliance with other boats and you'll get half of their, uh, it doesn't, if you turn something in and you're in an alliance, it doesn't take any money from you, but it gives them half the value of what you turned in. So it is beneficial for everybody, but something to be aware of is people sometimes take advantage of alliances because you can see the other, you can see the other boats on the map. So they can mutiny you. So that's a thing. Let's see. So. much everything yeah same with these you can turn these off it doesn't matter uh, this is where you can change the only cosmetic you can't change on the boat is your ship stuff so clothing equipment and vanity vanity is like your hair and makeup and stuff so what you want to do first is you want to get the anchor up once you get the anchor up um, it's a lot easier on a sloop than on a brigantine or a galleon. So you can solo pretty easy. So you have the anchor up, but you don't move yet. We want to figure out where we're going. So let's say we are going to... Uh, we're facing... We're facing Shark Bait Cove, so let's go there. So we're going to go southwest-ish. We are currently facing southwest you can see on the compass here. And that means we are going to put our sails down because we're facing the correct way. Sails are down and then we're heading towards Shark Bay Cove. Uh, these lines up here are the wind. What you want to do is catch the wind because that makes you go a heck of a lot faster. That's something that's really important, especially when you're running away from someone another ship so be sure to keep trying to catch the wind as you're driving unless you're trying to park hey bye mark so we're hauling this is a pretty game this is a pretty freaking game um you have a bunch of different instruments telescope will be good to see especially if there's anyone on the horizon or any skeleton ships. If the lights are green and blue, it's usually a skeleton ship, so it's an NPC ship. Um, sometimes people are sneaky and they'll put, I'll do this, uh, put green and blue lights up. That's a different story. But uh, if you see orange lights or any other color besides green and blue, it's, part, it's a player ship. Uh, that up there is a shipwreck. I won't do it now, but you can stop there and actually loot the things in the shipwreck. The best thing now that you can loot out of there are fish that you can tell the hunters call, which is a completely different thing. Don't text and drive ship. Yes, don't text and drive. So we have arrived. I could hit my anchor, but that's not what I do. So I grab my sail and I pull it up. It makes it a lot easier to park as well. So, cause you can just kind of gradually sail into the area that you want. Oh, this is lookout point, but that's okay. So we went to lookout point, we went south. <laughs> so we're at lookout point. It'll tell you when you get close where you're at. If you have, as long as you're as long as there's not a storm happening or you're not in the Devil's Roar, which is the east side of the map, around Hurricane, you're fine. So we have arrived. 
And this will turn your boat and uh, grab a sail and yank it. Just yank it. There you go. Yeah. So that's how you get to a, an island. And with Xbox, the buttons are all a little different, but you can dance and you there are like macros you can say depending on where you're at like if you're holding something it'll give you something different like uh, I'm holding a lantern so it'll give me the option of lighting the way say or if I'm holding an instrument which is I on the keyboard you can you know, say let's play something different Oops, there's a block up there, but you know what I mean. Um, and, oh, V is, this took me a really long time to understand. V is the megaphone. I had no idea how to get there, but that's when you're using game chat. That'll amplify your voice to the other players on the other teams. That's it. There you go. So that's a little primer on the beginning of Sea of Thieves, because it's hard to learn all that stuff, so. Yay! Thank you so much. Follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Lyssa T. L-Y-S-S-A-T. Yay! So there you go.